Checking the recent Hockey East standings, note that Maine has some company at the top, while UMass Lowell, Providence, and Boston College all share third place. New Hampshire moved into a tie for first last Friday when they beat Merrimack 5-2. The Wildcats junior winger Kevin Thompson had a hand in all five goals. Flanagan. Flanagan turns, plays it out of front. They score! Thompson from Flanagan. Kevin Thompson took the pass from Joe Flanagan and puts on the Thompson had a career-high five-point night, including his first hat trick ever. Another Wildcat who reached a career plateau with sophomore goaltender Jeff Levy, who in that game stopped a career-high 49 shots. Despite the loss, Ron Anderson's Warriors had a 2 and one week. Their wins came on a two-game sweep of Air Force last week and saw them mount 14 goals to the four for Air Force. Overall, the Warriors are 9-9 nine and nine on the year, but they're still looking for that elusive first win in Hockey East. The North Country Black Bears are keeping quite a chill on all their opponents with a 16-2 and two mark for the year and look to be on their way to their fifth consecutive 30-plus win season. Maine took the Dexter Classic last weekend with a 15-5 route of Army and then a 4-2 win over Lowell in the championship game. As usual, their high-powered offense is on a record pace, but one who deserved a lot of attention is junior goaltender Gar Snow, who has been outstanding in the net and has been named as the Hockey East Player of the Month. The run mass native played in five of Maine's six games in December, where he posted a 4-1 and one record with a 1.60 goals against average. Maine sophomore, Priest Tardif, earning Player of the Week honors after notching a seven-point weekend of a Dexter Classic, for which he was named the tournament's most valuable player. Most valuable, Joe Tully form is new head coach Bruce Crowder, who has his team with a 4-1 and one league record and a 500 mark overall. Senior forward Don Parsons notched his third game winner in the 5-4 contest over Concordia in the first round of the Dexter Classic. Another classic is senior center Mike Boback, who notched three assists over the weekend for a career total now of 109. This surpasses former Friar and current assistant coach Tim Army's total and puts Boback in third place on Providence all-time assist leader charts. And this six foot four inch, 190 pound freshman was the Hockey East Rookie of the Week. Center Craig Darby helped the sweep of the ninth ranked Alaska Anchorage with three goals and two assists. So far, this Schenectady, New York native has 24 points on the year. Although the Eagles senior center, David Franzosa, is tied for second in Hockey East scoring with 13 points, BC's overall scoring in comparison to the other seven teams in the league rests at the bottom of the pack with 55 points. Boston University's Terriers are in sole possession of sixth place in the league. And with the return of their proven rookies, Lily Brennan and Prentigas from the World Juniors, they'll be at 100% for the second half of the year. Terriers freshman winger was named the Hockey East Rookie of the Month he scored in all four of the games he played in December, notching a total of seven points. And the Northeastern Huskies seem to be celebrating a happy new year. They have a three-game winning streak going, and they finally seem to have made a connection. The French connection made up of Sebastian Laplante, Jay Schiavo, and Jean-Francois Obey. In their seven games together, they have not 16 goals, 25 assists for 41 points. Has scored at 6.02.